Hello everyone, this is Morgan Price, and today's mini tutorial is all about ship costumes. So, whenever you get a ship, you have various options in order to customize it. You'll go talk to this gentleman here on the end of the um, shipyard, which is from the offices up there, straight down the ramps. And you will talk to this fellow here and customize your ship. You can customize ships in any number of way. You just kind of drag your, drag it around and s check the angles that you want to see. So there's an advanced version here. You can choose to edit the individual parts you want. Um, so yeah, you actually like the Miranda Beta has this bulb down here being what looks like glass. It looks like the saucer's a little convex. Um, you can change the struts, which is for this is uh huh. I'll have to take a look at that. So you can change the struts, which give you a totally different look. Um, so anyway, uh, over on the left here you have templates which allow you to pick the um, the shape, uh, which is it's just a general shape of your ship. Now you have various versions of your ships so and they all have a really good look to them. They've been doing really, really well with the new materials and making it look good. Um, let us go with the classic Miranda. Change this to a type one so you could actually see the details here because we're going into this. So, all right. You want to customize your ship. You want to make it look good. You can choose your bridge. There's a large number of bridges. Um, most can be bought in the C store. Uh, let's see, Eves. What is Eves? Oh, that's that one. Um, so utility, sleek, standard. You, there's a bunch of them, and they're all variations of the same. You can get Voyager's Bridge, uh, the initial startup, and then the um, one after they went to the Delta Quadrant. You can pick any number of different ones here. Um, I'll just go with, we'll go with this one just to, to work with that. So yeah, okay, that's our, our bridge. Second type is you go down to this one and it allows you to change your windows. Each window has a different um, base shape to it. Your window type also affects your um, escape pod type. So if you want to have the square escape pods like the Enterprise D had, you would work with uh, the types that have those ejection ports. If you want the um, the more triangular patterned ones that the Enterprise E had, you would go with that. Uh, there's any number of materials. We'll get into colors in a moment because there's extra for that. So I'm going to go through what I normally build out my Mirandas to look like. So I'll keep that strut. I'll keep the Miranda saucer for right now. I'll change the pylons to centaur pylons. Puts it out on a wing like that. What the? Oh, veteran. Um, yes, so I forget what veteran reward it is, but you will get the ability to get veteran... Um, hull plating which gives you that blue underglow uh, like that and gives you some different highlights and patterning 
not my favorite. I think it needs a, a little bit of a rework, but it's still quite it's still quite something. It's not it's not uh, ugly to look at. The one that I really want to get the the rework though is this um, is this dark uh, texture. This one hasn't been updated in a long time. Everything else has had a little bit more detail added to it. And yeah. But okay, this is a good looking one. I like the I like the whole plating look. So alright. Nacelles. There's various types. Um we'll stick with just regular Miranda, the nice closed off looking cells though we can get it with glowy um all right maybe we will change yeah that that looks good that's a pretty decent look it's not insane with with uh Different details. That's no, 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 no. Strut. See, you can change up the the various struts, but some of them do not look right with different things. Want to make a really, really compact one? You, you do that. That's a little teeny tiny ship. Myself, I like to occupy more space. So, the Shikar is a really good one for, for this as well. Gives it kind of a more threatening edge. It's a little bit taller. And the nacelles are a little more vertical than angled. But it is what it is. Okay, so we've already covered all of this. Let's go to the patterns. Now myself, I happen to like that. I usually do everything in Virgo because, well, I tend to like the look of a mirror universe ship, even though I can't actually make a mirror universe ship. I can get a few things reasonably close, like going with that color scheme. That is reminiscent of early... Um, mirror universe that kind of dark kind of mustardy yellow on top of kind of grayish white like this so that gets that oh a side note if you are in a fleet you will have access to your fleet's emblem I need to find the emblem on this where is the emblem Starfleet's emblem is somewhere on here, and I don't know where. Anyway, you can choose your fleet emblem. So, uh, yeah, if you're in a fleet, you can put your fleet emblem on your ship and ride around representing your fleet. Anyway, that is enough of that. Pop on out. I'll uh, beam up into space to show you what I got going on. This will take a moment. It usually does. It's got to deal with the people that have come into orbit and are futzing about in space. Alrighty. See? So this is what it looks like in space. Shadow of the EST. It's a nice look. 
didn't used to have that kind of metallic sheen you get. See right there? That metallic sheen did not used to exist. Anyway, with that, this has been Morgan Price. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.